Hello friends, this is Alexei. I've just returned from my almost two weeks business trip to meet with the brightest representatives of power electronics industry. It was great to have those meetings face to face. I'm a fan of digital, but some things need to stay the good old way. And as usual, I've been keeping an eye on the market news, so let's check what is new in power semiconductors industry. Global megatrends such as digitalization and decarbonization call for wideband gap devices. Due to their unique technological characteristics, they enable the highest performance and energy efficiency at the same time. Being committed to both of these domains, two leading players in the electronics industry, Infineon Technologies and Delta Electronics, deepen their collaboration to deliver superior solutions for the convenience of end customers. The latest and most prominent examples of this cooperation include Delta's 1.4 kW server power supply and 1.6 kW titanium gaming power platform. The 1.4 kW server power supply leverages Infineon's CoolSeq MOSFET technology and Delta's multi-decade core competence in power electronics to achieve beyond 96% efficiency. Another case for highest efficiency is the 1.6 kW gaming power platform powered by Infineon's CoolGAN technology complemented with EI's driver and gate driver ICs. Toshiba Electronic Devices and Storage Corporation has launched a fast recovery diet housed in a press pack package in which newly developed high-speed diet chips are mounted. The product is for power converters used in DC power transmission systems, industrial motor drive systems and the like. Its absolute maximum ratings are 4.5 kV and 3000 amps. The new product features a low conduction loss and a wide reverse recovery safe operating area. It has a cathode structure that can suppress voltage oscillation during reverse recovery and a high voltage structure that allows high temperature operation. Researchers at the Professorship of Electrical Energy Conversion Systems and Drives at the Kamenitz University of Technology have succeeded for the first time in 3D printing housings for power electronic components that are used, for example, to control electrical machines. During the printing process, silicon carbide chips are positioned at a designated point of the housing. As with its printed motor made of iron, copper and ceramics, which the professorship first presented at the Hanover Mesa in 2018, ceramic and metallic paste are also used in the 3D printing of the housings. A research team led by Johannes Rudolf, who helped develop the 3D printing process, produced several prototypes of the additively packaged silicon carbide-based power semiconductors in recent months. The scientists expect the two-sided, flat and solder-free contact of the chips to result in a longer service lifetime in terms of the number of load cycles, as well as better cooling and thus usability of the chips. South Korean companies have pulled together to build a solid domestic ecosystem in the production of silicon carbide power semiconductors, which are emerging as a key component of electric vehicles led by SK Siltron, a wafer company that has pushed for the expansion of its global market share. While demand for silicon carbide based power semiconductors is soaring, their supply is limited due to an oligopoly by a small number of companies in Germany, United States and Japan. SK Siltron, a unit of SK Group, has launched Seek Challenge, a support program for partners to build a domestic ecosystem in the production of silicon carbide power semiconductors. SK Siltron, which offers polished wafers, solar substrates and crystal ingots for electronics manufacturers, organized a silicon carbide wafer technology forum with 10 suppliers on June 28 to share information and discuss a concerned goal of enhancing their competitiveness through cooperation. In the silicon carbide power semiconductor market, SK Siltron aims to become a top player with a market share exceeding 25% by 2025. Japan's greatest semiconductor makers from Toshiba to Sony are warning that the federal government's push to revive its home chip business is being threatened by a scarcity of engineers. The anticipated labor crunch comes as Japan works to extend funding in semiconductors as a part of a drive to bolster its financial safety within the wake of chip shortages. The Japan Electronics and Info Expertise Industries Affiliation mentioned that the sector's success hinged on securing sufficient expertise to innovate and function as cheap crops. It estimated that eight huge producers might want to rent about 35,000 engineers within the subsequent 10 years to maintain up with the tempo of funding. The next five years will be dynamic for electrified vehicles as they evolve to meet a growing number of challenges including shorter charging times, long-distance travel, energy storage, reliability, volume manufacturing and energy efficiency. 
Nafini's dedicated e-mobility products, chipsets and system competency allow developers to optimize high-volt power conversion applications like traction inverters to achieve best efficiency and performance. 500 km and 10 kWh certainly sounds like an ambitious goal, especially when you bear in mind that the current average for passenger vehicles is about 16. Silicon Carbide is the key to new efficient power conversion designs in electric vehicles. Learn more in this Infineon webinar. That's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. As usual, more market news coming next week. Meanwhile, go to my blog for more information or join me in social media. Keep in touch.